Today on Ham Radio Q&A, we're gonna build a simple DC power splitter, so please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, when you start wiring a ham radio shack, the problem you often run into is there's never enough power connections. One solution, of course, is a multi-tap power distribution bar, uh, like uh, MFJ or West Mountain Radio Cells. Uh, these bars have fused connectors and multi-outlets with Anderson power poles on them. But maybe that's overkill for your particular needs, and a simple two-way splitter like this uh, may be enough. So for today's project, I'm going to be building a DC power splitter with Anderson power poles on the ends. They are genderless connectors that are relatively easy to install, and if installed correctly, almost foolproof in their operation. In the ham radio world, we use the red and black connectors for DC power. Red will be positive and black will be negative. The connectors come in three different sizes, 15, 30, and 45 amp. Now, the plastic shells are all the same size. The only difference is the size of the metal crimp connectors. Uh, the 15 amp connectors are designed for 16 to 18 gauge wire, uh, the 30 amp for 12 to 14 gauge, and the 45 amp for about 10 gauge wire. You can buy these kits um, with assorted connectors. Uh, I, find, I found mine online. Uh, on Amazon, and that's what I'm going to be using for this project. As for installing the inserts onto the wire, you can solder them or use a, uh, a tool like this, uh, but really, if you're serious in using power poles, I recommend in, in investing in a power pole crimping tool. Uh, you can get these for about $30 or so online, and um, they're going to give you a more secure connection than any other crimping tool will. I used to solder my connectors, but um, you have to be really careful when you solder them because if you get solder on the contacts, um, then they become a lot more difficult to use and to insert into the shells. Let's assemble the parts and tools for our power pole splitter. You're gonna need a wire cutter and stripper and also the power pole crimping tool. As for the materials, you'll need two six inch pieces of 14 gauge red black zip wire, six power pole shells, four 30 amp inserts, and two 45 amp inserts. First, strip the insulation from the 14 gauge zip wire. I leave about a centimeter on one end and a little less than a centimeter on the other. Since you're gonna need to twist the two wires together on, the, um, on, on one side, a little extra bare wire is helpful. Next, twist together the two black wires and place a 45 amp insert into the crimper and insert the wires. Crimp them down. Do the same with the red pair. Once the two inserts are crimped on, you can then insert the connectors into the shells. I'll use a little screwdriver to help coax them in. And when, uh, when you hear the little click, you know that they're all the way in. Next, install the individual 30 amp connectors on the other four wires. Give the wire a little twist, uh, put it into the connector and crimp it down. If there's um, some stray wires, that's okay. You can trim them with the wire cutters. Once the connectors are crimped, insert them into the shells. Red wire into the red shell and black into the black, using a small screwdriver again to coax them in as needed. Finally, the shells need to be locked together. When you hold the open end of the connectors facing you, the red will be on the left and the flat portion of the connector towards the bottom. Some power pole kits will come with little roll pins uh, to secure the shells, but I like to use a little dab of glue to make them permanent. I figure I'm, I'm not gonna be taking these apart, so glue is fine. Well, and that's all there is to it. You can now dress the ends of the plugs with shrink wrap if you wish, uh, but that's really not necessary. Now you have the flexibility of powering two devices from your power supply or your deep cycle battery. Let me know what you think about this project. Please leave a comment below and a parts and tools list can also be found in the video description. Otherwise, for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives production of future videos. So if you enjoyed this video, give me that big thumbs up and also check out some of the other ones that are uh, recommended alongside here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are, haven't already done so. It's your best way to be notified when future videos are released. Well, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and 73.